The Prado study was based on some prior data um, called the Opasa Neo um, study, which had tested three separate dosing schemes of neoadjuvant ipilimumab plus nivolumab. And they had identified two cycles of IPI-1 mix per kg, NEVO-3 mix per kg as the most favorable um, combination. Now, based on that, the investigators hypothesized that perhaps a therapeutic lymph node dissection could be omitted in a certain group of patients who achieved a complete or near complete pathologic response. So the way the Prado trial was designed is, you know, patients had to have macroscopic stage three um, disease. And interestingly, they received an index marker uh, that was placed in their largest lymph node. After six weeks of neoadjuvant combination immunotherapy, the patients then underwent surgical resection of the marked lymph node. And Thereafter, the decision of whether to do subsequent, you know, therapeutic lymph node dissection and adjuvant therapy, all of that dependent was dependent on the index lymph node pathologic features. And basically, if a patient achieved a near complete response in the index lymph node um, or a complete response, then the patient underwent no fair th uh, therapeutic lymph node dissection. Comparatively, if a patient uh, um, achieved a partial pathologic response, then the patient underwent a therapeutic lymph node lymph node dissection, and if no pathologic response was achieved at all, then after a therapeutic lymph node dissection, the patient went on to re receive adjuvant, um, adjuvant therapy. 70 out of the 99 patients, so I mean, that's a significant number of patients who achieved a pathologic response in the index lymph node. 61% um, of them had a major pathologic response. A therapeutic lymph node dissection was omitted in 97% of those who had a major pathologic response. It showed for the first time that not only does neoadjuvant ipinevo at this particular dose induce a high pathologic response rate, there was tolerable toxicity. In fact, the surgery-related um, AEs were not surprisingly lower in those who, in which the therapeutic lymph node dissection was omitted. And, you know, in general, it reduced the surgical morbid morbidity for these patients. And of course, we need a longer follow-up in these patients to understand uh, further safety, further survival impact in those in whom a therapeutic lymph node dissection was omitted. But I think this is potentially practice changing. I mean, you know, of course, this is a relatively small to modest um, sized study. So, you know, more needs to be done. But I think it was very exciting to be able to show that there might be a subset of patients where based on the pathologic features of one node of the index node that we might actually be able to significantly reduce additional morbidity, whether it comes to surgery, more adjuvant therapy, et cetera.